Hi guys. So in the first lecture we talked about random variables and in the previous lecture we talked about uh, probability space and probability measure. Now let's talk about distribution of random variables. So again we're going to start with the same experiment of tossing a coin and let's write down the outcomes here. So we're basically taking a coin, tossing them three times. We can get either a head, head, head or a head, head, tail. We can get a head, tail, head or a head, tail, tail. We could get a tail, head, head, tail, head, tail, 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 head, tail, tail, tail. So this is basically our sample space, right? So now let's define a random variable x and we're going to count the number of heads. And also we're going to define another random variable where we're just counting the number of tails. So if you remember in the first class this is exactly what we did. If you haven't really seen the first lecture, I encourage you to go back and, and see the random variable uh, lecture. So let's define what are the value in each of these outcomes, right? So if x is counting the number of heads, here the value would be 3. Here the value would be 2 because we have two heads. Again, we have two heads here, one head, two heads, one head, one head, and zero heads. Similarly, the value of y would be, we're counting the number of tails here, and we have no tails here, so it could be zero. We have one tail here, we have one tail, we have two tails, we have one, two tails, two tails, and we have three tails, right? So you can see, uh, random variable b, x basically takes a value of 0, 1, 2, and 3. Likewise, random variable y also takes a value of 0, 1, 2, and 3. Okay. So, w now what are the distribution of a random variable? R distribution of a random variable is, you know, probabilities by which a, p a particular random variable takes various values. Okay. So, we've already defined what values x takes. Now let's also define probability of getting a head as half and probability of getting a tail as half. If that's the case, we see, and you know all these coin tosses are independent. From our previous lecture, we defined probability of head, head, head as probability of a head multiplied by probability of a head multiplied by probability of a head equal 1 by 2 times 1 by 2 times 1 by 2, 1 by 8. So basically the probability of each one of these outcomes with the same logic would be equal to 1 by 8 because probability of getting a head is half, probability of getting a tail is half. Any one of these outcomes we take, we'll get half multiplied by half multiplied by half, which would be equal to 1 by 8, okay? So probability of any outcome would be 1 by 8. Right, okay, great. Now what we want to do is we want to find out the probability by which random variable x takes various values. So let's first find out what are the probability that x takes a value of 0. So in what particular outcomes are we getting a value of x as 0? This basically is the same as getting probability on this particular subset and we know this to be 1 by 8, right? Now likewise, let's try to figure out what is the probability that the value x equals 1. So which all outcomes we, we get x as 1? So we these are the 1, 2 and 3 outcomes. So this is the same as getting a probability on this particular subset h, t, 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 h, t and t, t, h. Now again, this would be probability of these things individually added together, probability of t h t plus probability of t t h equals 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 equals 3 by 8, right? Similarly, probability of x equals 2. Now let's look at what subset we have to look at. Again, these are the three elements that give us x equals to 2, so which will h, h, t, h, t, h, and t, h, h. Again, going by the same logic, this would be 3 by 8. Now, probability of x equals 3 would be 
we only one possible outcome that gives us that value and that be probability would be 1 by 8. So we see this is basically what what is called the distribution of a random variable x, right? So we basically are trying to find our probability with which x takes on various unique values. So x could either take a 0, it could be a 1, it could be a 2, it could be a 3 and these are the probabilities by which x will take on various values. So probability of getting a 0 for x is 1 by 8, probability of getting a 1 is 3 by 8, probability of getting a 2 is 3 by 8 again, probability of x being 3 equals 1 by 8. So this is called the distribution of uh, this particular random variable x in a probability measure p. Okay, so in this measure, we've defined the probability of heads to be half, probability of a tail to be half. Now, in this measure, in the same measure, we can also calculate the distribution of random variable y. Now, if you see random variable y, it like, like x, it also takes unique values 0, 1, 2, and 3. So again, we can go and do the same uh, 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 calculation. We can say probability y equals 0. And y would be equal to 0 in this particular subset, in this particular event of getting a, all three heads and the probability would be 1 by 8. Similarly, we can say y equals 1. That would be given by this particular subset of head, head, tail, head, tail, head, and tail, head, head. This would again be 3 by 8. Probability of getting y equals 2. Likewise would be probability of a head, tail, 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 head, tail, 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 head. Again, that would be 3 by 8. And probability of y equals 3 would be probability of getting tail, tail, tail equals 1 by 8. So if you see, interestingly, you know, the probability distribution of this particular random variable x and y under this measure where which assign the probability of half to head and tail is basically the same. So the probability distribution under this measure for random variable x and y is exactly the same. So probability of getting a x 0 equals 1 by 8, probability of getting a y equals 0 equals 1 by 8. Likewise, you know, probabilities are exactly the same. They are two separate random variables. One is counting the number of heads, the other one is counting the number of tails, and we've defined one probability measure. But incidentally, under this measure, probability distribution for x and y is exactly the same. Now, we could, what we could do is we could change the probability measure. We could say, okay, we have another probability measure. Now, instead of having it one by two, we could say, okay, now we're going to have probability of getting a head, probability of getting a head as 2 by 3, and probability of getting a tail as 1 by 3. Now, let's see if in this particular case, what is what happens to the distribution of uh, the random variable. So, how again, prob um, probability of x equals 0 is equal to probability of getting a tail, 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 and that would be equal to 1 by 3 times 1 by 3 times 1 by 3 equals 1 by 27, right? Now, probability of x equals 1 would be HTT, probability of getting a H T T T H T T H T and T T H T T H. Now, if you look at this, this would be probability of getting a head tail tail plus probability of getting a tail head tail plus probability of getting a tail tail head. Now, if these are independent, this is same as probability of a head times probability of tail times probability of tail to probability of head is 2 by 3 probability of a tail is 1 by 3 times 1 by 3 plus what is probability of getting a tail is 1 by 3 times probability of getting a head is 2 by 3 
times probability of getting a tail is 1 by 3 plus probability of getting a tail is again 1 by 3 times 1 by 3 times 2 by 3. So we look at this, this is 27, 2, this is 2 by 27 plus 2 by 27 equals 6 by 27, right? Probability of x equals 2, likewise we can calculate this which is same as probability of getting a head, head, tail, head, tail, head, tail, head, head. And again, this would be probability of head, head, tail, plus probability of head, tail, head, plus probability of tail, head, head. And this would be again, head probability is 2 by 3 times 2 by 3 times 1 by 3 plus 2 by 3 times 1 by 3 times 2 by 3 plus tail is 1 by 3 times 2 by 3 times 2 by 3. This is 4 by 27 plus 4 by 27 plus 4 by 27 equals 12 by 27. And finally x equals 3 would be probability of getting a head, head, head equals 2 by 3 times 2 by 3 times 2 by 3 equals 8 by 27. So as we can see from this example, um, you know, and we discussed in the previous lecture also, random variable and its distribution are two separate concepts, right? So first what we did, we defined a random variable counting the number of heads and tails and then we assigned some probability measure to it that resulted in some distribution for x and y. And we checked that under this probability measure, the distribution of x and y were exactly the same, right? Then next what we did, we did not change the random variable, we did not change the experiment, so we are still tossing three coins, we are still counting the number of heads and number of tails, so our random variable is not changing. But under the new probability measure, the distribution of x has completely changed, right? The random variable hasn't changed, but its distribution has changed. And you can check that the distribution of y has also changed, okay? You can do the math similarly as I've done for x. And in this new probability measure, the distribution of x and y would not be the same, okay? So this is a very important concept to understand that random variable and its distribution are two separate concepts and this uh, we will use again and again later on when we switch between the real world um, probability measure and the risk neutral probability measure okay in that case as i've explained to you earlier the random variable would not change but its distribution would change okay thanks guys so next we're going to talk about some properties of uh, you know random variables and it's and their distributions